Good morning. Good morning. Do you want an iPad? Something? Okay, good. Yeah, we'll see how this is taken. Good morning. Good morning. We missed y'all last week. I was watching and praying in the car on my phone while Mario was driving, so I was there with you. Good morning, Jeannie. And Tracy. Hey, Amanda. We give it another what minute? Yeah. Okay. Just, well, we've got eleven. Let's just, go. Ahead. It's just eight o'clock. Okay. We can go ahead and get started. Ready? Yep. Okay. Go. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Begin on page seventy-five. Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. Now turning to page 79, let's confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone heart we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves we repent for the sake of your son forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name amen almighty god have mercy on us forgive us all our sins through our lord jesus christ strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the holy spirit keep us in eternal life Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your prayer. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Okay, turning to page 95, we will say together the Venite. It is. No, it's page 82. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. It's okay. I give poor directions. You ready now? Okay, sorry. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence. Let us shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God. To the caverns of the earth are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded. Let's bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O oh, today she would hearken to his voice. Okay, the psalm of the day. Make sure I get it right. It's We begin with Psalm 85, and that's on page 708. And then we'll say um, together Psalm 87, and that's on page 711. So beginning Psalm 85 on page 708, and we will say that responsibly by whole verse. And, of course, I don't have it marked. Okay. 
okay. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the inequity of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury and turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Savior. Let your anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Life again, that your people may rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and those who turn their hearts to him. Truly his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Verse 11, 7. On the holy mountain stands the city he The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of our God. I count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Behold, Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia. In Zion they were born. Of Zion it shall be said, everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. The Lord will record <clears throat> as he enrolls the peoples. These also, these also were born there. The singers and dancers will say, Fresh springs are in you. Glory to the Father, Father and to the Son, and, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is found in Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Now Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian, and he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. He looked, and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside to see if the bush is not burned. Why the Lord, when the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. Then he said, do not come near. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he, for he was afraid to look at God. And I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their city, heard their cry because of their taskmaster. Suffering, and I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians, and to bring them out of that land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And now behold, the cry of the people of Israel have come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh, and you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you, and I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall be on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now turn to page 86. We'll say together Canticle 9, found on page 86. Surely it is God who saves me, 
I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. New Testament reading is found in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 13 to 22. Hebrews chapter 11. Verses 13 to 22. These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar. <clears throat> and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth, for people who speak thus make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. And if they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. Is that it? But as it is, they desire a better land. It's a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. The promises was in the act of offering up his only son, of whom it was said, through Isaac shall your offspring be named. And consider that God was able to even, even to raise him from the dead, from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. Isaac invoked future blessings on Jacob and Esau. By faith, Jacob, when dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph, bowing in worship and looking their head at the staff. By faith, Joseph, at the end of his life, made mention of the exodus of the Israelites and gave directions concerning his bones. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Now turning to page 90, the other canticle 19. It's the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praise of you? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you. You are just and holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Gospel of the day is from the book of John, Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 6 through 14. John, <clears throat> chapter 14, verses 6 through 14. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Have I been with you so long and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do. And greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, 
that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now continuing on page 96, confess this creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Continuing on page 97. The Lord be with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I'm continuing with Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Didn't look up the correct. O oh God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, with all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any ad adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Give us grace, O God, and above all things. Excuse me. Here we go. Collect of the day is the second Sunday after Christmas. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity, your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for mission on page 101. Jesus, of the cross, so that everyone might come within reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. Oh, Father Daniel, good morning. Uh, request, which is For the coming of the new year, Lord, we ask with your Holy Spirit, especially in this year to come, um, as we anticipate um, unknown things, as, as Lord, we always do. We don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next, but you do. Um, let us trust in your loving care and your wisdom that you may guide us and keep us. Fill us with your spirit that we may speak forth your truth and bring those who do not know you to you. Um, Father, I suppose we're all still a bit angry about um, 
the way things are going here in this country and the world with, with all the virus going on. Let us not have a spirit of fear, but a spirit of faith in, 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 in your love for us. We pray for all those who are sick, um, body, mind, and spirit. Um, we lift up especially those to you that are suffering with the COVID virus not right now. Lord, especially and Margaret Tansy family. Lord, for all those others who are suffering with this virus. Father, we just ask that you um, keep us mindful of those around us um, and that if we're sick, to not be selfish and to stay home so this thing does not spread. Lord, we pray for all the patients, healthcare workers and doctors and nurses Pray for continued healing for Linda and Gloria, and also for all those in Honduras. Um, thanks be to God that Kay's uh, COVID test was negative. And we pray um, for those on uh, Paula's Uncle John's medical team this morning as he undergoes heart surgery. Lord, strengthen him, give wisdom to the doctors guide their hands let john put his trust in you and we ask that you grant him healing to the honor and glory of your name we pray for the rollins family who lost their 20 year old daughter last week oh lord comfort them and keep them hold them in your loving arms and give them faith that you have got their daughter in your arms and that she is in heaven with you, glorifying you. We pray for blessings for Michelle and Mario. For all students, parents, teachers, and administrators, pray for friends of Tracy's, Janet and Jeannie, and Janet's elderly parents, Mabel and Wayne. Lord, grant them healing, safety, and no fear. Lord, you tell us so many times in the Bible, do not be afraid. Lord, let us trust in your words and have the faith of your servants who we were spoken of in the reading today in Hebrews. Lord, it is by faith that, that you work through us, and it's by faith that we can have no fear. Lord, we ask all these things in the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, continuing. Oh, I am so messed up this morning. On page 101, which I'm already here, we will say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercy, servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you've made for our creation preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our lord jesus christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory and we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Continuing on page. Almighty God, you have given us grace one accord to make our common supplication to you and well-beloved Son, that when two or three will be in the midst of them, fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday.
morning? Uh, just things are changing. Just look at the uh, website and the Facebook pages for any changes in services. Uh, again, with COVID, it's a very dynamic situation. So check the bulletin board. That's the best. The, the website as, or Facebook? I, well, I think, both. Website yeah. and Facebook. Um, as far as morning prayer, we have morning prayer every morning at 8, 12, 10 for noonday prayer. Compline at 8. At 8? Yes. Yeah. So, noonday prayer is 12, 10. Yes, noonday okay. prayer is 12. So please join us on uh, any of those sessions that we have. So you all have a great day and God bless. God bless you. Is that a lot this morning? Oh, 13.